to start my day in the lab with silky socks. And I wish you on the like you've been in the lab already. Been in the lab. Now? Alright, so we, what we got going on here is the sublimation transfers are printing. This is called a wide format sublimation printer. It's got a 44 inch width, so we can hang up a lot of socks and a lot of other gear that you're printing from the sublimation process. This is a good option to go. Uh, so right now I'm printing a custom socks for Drew League MVP Frank Nitty. As you can see, he's shooting a jump shot over James Harden right there. So that's going to go on a pair of socks. And then on this side, we have it um, saying his name. So it's actually, the print is mirrored, so it says it backwards. But it says Nitty there, and it's got a cartoon drawing of him. So we're going to bring these to life here. So if you're just getting into the sublimation business, you might wonder what kind of printer should you start with? I get asked all the time, like how much does a sublimation printer cost? So there's three main types that I'm familiar with and I've used before, so I'm going to explain all those to you. The first is a basic one, an Epson on eBay, which will run you about two, three hundred dollars and you load aftermarket inks on there. Um, the second one is one level above that, it's about five to six hundred dollars, it's by Sawgrass. It's called the SG400, there's a couple other models. Then the third and final one that I'm familiar with is a wide format one. It gives you about a 44 inch length, which I have one behind me here. So that's uh, a Muto RJ900X. That one will run you about seven grand or so. So you see you got the basic starter one for about two, three hundred bucks. And one level up for about five, six hundred, or when you get into the wide format, you got about seven thousand dollar investment you're spending. So what it is is the, the two basic ones I told you. You're only going to be able to print out on an eight and a half by eleven or eleven by fourteen sheet of paper. Um, versus when you get into the wide format, you can print a full forty-four inch wide transfer, and that's what this is here, a full transfer sheet. Uh, so if you didn't. If you didn't want to make the investment for a sublimation printer right away, we do offer transfer prints for sale. Now sublimation printing, what, it, what that offers you is the ability to print on white polyester surface garments. For example, this sock. It's a white surface with a majority of a polyester blend. So that's what the process of sublimation allows you to print. All you need is the sublimated transfer and a heat press and you can press onto this fabric. Plus, there's thousands and thousands of other items that are sublimatable, including t-shirts, like this all-over print t-shirt. As you can see, it started off as just white, and it's fully printed all over. So now, this to do something this size, you definitely need a wide format, like a 44-inch printer. But to do something small, like this white surface here on this sock, or these, or even a small coverage on a t-shirt, you just need uh, the 8.5 by 11 or the 11 by 17 piece of paper. Uh, so one of those Epson or Sawgrass starter packages will come in handy for you. So like I said, three levels. Look on eBay for Epson sublimation printer. Um, one level up, look for a Sawgrass SG400. The difference between those two, the Sawgrass ones are a lot more reliable. You don't have to use a third party ink and they don't give you as much of a headache. Whereas those Epsons, you have to buy some aftermarket type of ink kind of run a crack on your printer and then load up those aftermarket inks and then uh, the ink cost is a lot cheaper on those which is cool but you run into a lot of headaches um, where it just comes sometimes it's not working properly and you have to kind of restart it a bunch of times or re reboot the inks and uh, we had a lot of problems with that printer before in the past um, and then the SG400 I liked it a lot it was reliable but ink cost was very high per unit on those and then of course with the wide format we've got three of these guys the Muto RJ900X's and we love them um, each of them is about 44 inches wide and we just run those for our socks t-shirts and all our items alright guys that's it sublimation tip of the day
So I got these uh, poly mailers made. Black, blackout with the white text. So that's a fresh one. As you can see, it looks all nice and clean. But if you look up close, it starts to get very scratched up. So I thought I was being smart by going all black and being different, being cool. And started seeing how some of these look after they go through a full U USPS uh, mail route. As you can see, very scratched up and messed up. So, you know, sometimes you try to get too creative for your own good. And uh, so we're just gonna work with these for now, but when we place our reorder, we're gonna go all white with black. And uh, I guess that's why they do that, because the standard poly mailers, you see everyone doing white with black text or logos, and we thought we were gonna be different, but it didn't really work out that time. He's making a documentary. <laughs> 